Hello, my name is Delmar Larson. I'm a professor of chemistry at the University of California, Davis. I'm also the founder and director of the LibreTex project. I'm here to present uh, our ADAPT homework system, which is something we've been working on for the last four years. It's an open educational resource uh, platform um, that any faculty member uh, has access to as a question bank and I encourage you in order to take a look at. And we're very excited with where we're do, where we're going. Um, and here we go. So in order to get things running here, um, it's useful in order to write down the URL of the actual platform itself. If you go to uh, adapt.libretext.org, um, you can actually access uh, the adapt infrastructure. You'll need an account in order to uh, tap into the question bank because we keep it protected. Uh, because if it actually got out and if solutions uh, occurred on check or course zero, then it would lose its utility as a homework infrastructure. Okay, so the, the key point uh, for you, if you're unfamiliar with the LibreText project, uh, is our core mission, uh, or at least our core value. And that is to recognize that students are not a market to exploit, nor to make a profit on, uh, or at least to make a profit and make a obscene profit uh, connected to it. Um, <clears throat> For most of you, this is not new information, but it's nice to see some uh, data off here. And this came from the Bayview Analytics team. Uh, and they uh, cataloged uh, the uh, academic platforms that are used across uh, all of academia and identified that the online, online homework system um, is the most popular required curriculum material that's out there with somewhere in the order of 75% uh, of us using it in one way to go. Most of those are commercial uh, enterprises uh, that address this core value that I mentioned before of exploiting students by uh, charging a significant amount of money for that. Um, and part of the LibreText uh, effort is to try to extricate commercial publishers from or uh, the classroom, uh, and that requires being able to extricate them from textbooks, homework, uh, ancillary materials, uh, assessments, and other things uh, that are, we have gotten uh, comfortable with. In other words, faculty have adopted uh, golden handcuffs that essentially pull us in, um, and the homework system, the ADAPT homework system, is meant in part in order to be able to address that. So um, before jumping into the actual logistics of the platform, I can pose a question here is how do you build an online homework system that complements the utility of the rest of the infrastructure that the labor text provides? Uh, and these are the criteria that we use in order to build the ADAPT. We want to be flexible, dynamic, comprehensive, integratable, LMS agnostic, powerful, and free or nearly free. And it turns out that it takes a lot of effort in order to be able to address all these criteria, and we're very happy in order to be able to do so. Um, in order to do so requires, again, time and effort. Um, and the key aspect here is that this is open source technology, so we're trying to not reinvent the wheel if possible. Uh, and that means using existing technologies as necessary and build upon those technologies in order to be able to generate the platform that you have access to today. And the key point uh, is to recognize that no single technology can handle the full scope of all those criteria I mentioned there. The technology that's used for uh, anatomy is very different than the technology used for accounting, very different than the technology used in physics and organic chemistry. Uh, uh, so what we've implemented is an infrastructure that folds in multiple open source technologies uh, uh, into an underlying umbrella so that the interface is the same for the students and for the faculty, uh, even though the underlying technology uh, of the questions and this, uh, evaluation is different. So we have folded underneath the, umbre the ADAPT umbrella web work, IMATH AS, that's a technology underlying MyOpenMath, Lumen Learnings, and uh, Ohm system, uh, and XYZ homework system. The last two are commercial uh, in, uh, enterprises. H5P uh, and native, uh, what we call native technology, which is essentially the learning management systems uh, question test interoperability. That's the question banks that you'd have in your LMS. Now, complementing the auto graded uh, capabilities is the uh, open ended question capabilities. That's where students can upload rich text, uh, audio, uh, various files, and it requires a student or TA in order to be able to address that. The key point is that we try to be as uh, as, uh, with a broad scope uh, of resources available for faculty in order to address their educational needs. Uh, so if you're unfamiliar with uh, the way the 
the uh, uh, homework system is put together, let's say you took web work and it has a problem builder and a problem library and a problem searcher, assessment delivery, assessment checker, grade book and LMS interface. Yeah. And in order to master a homework infrastructure, you tend to have to be at least master or have some level of competency in each of these components in order to be able to deal with them. Then you take IMath AS and it has its own infrastructure and each one of these things is unique, sometimes uh, with similar scope uh, than the web work, but a different interface and different uh, experience. H5P would have the same thing. Your QTI infrastructure and your learning management system has the same thing. And typically an individual faculty member doesn't master the full scope of multiple platforms <clears throat> in part because it's a bit of a complexity in order to be able to do so. What we've done with ADAPT is make it so that we combine the problem library across all the technologies have a centralized search capability, a centralized grade book, and a centralized uh, learning management interface, such that when a faculty member masters uh, ADAPT as a whole, it makes it significantly easier in order to be able to uh, use it for a variety of different classes. When a student gets exposed to ADAPT in one class, for example, their Spanish class, they can use it uh, and they uh, don't need to relearn a new platform for math and for statistics and other fields that are out there. Uh, so ADAPT is designed for multimodal use. Uh, students can access ADAPT directly via the ADAPT website, uh, the URL that I started this, this presentation with. Uh, we can embed ADAPT questions into your textbook, typically Libre textbooks, but they can be embedded into other platforms. Uh, and that provides a mechanism that the textbook then becomes a homework system. Uh, those questions can be embedded both formatively or summatively. Uh, depending upon your pedagogy. We will be releasing this summer our in-class, um, our phone app, that is. Uh, we found that students access the textbooks about 50% of the time through their phone. Um, so this provides a native technology for students in order to do their homework um, with the technology that they prefer. Uh, however, the uh, the phone app can also double as an in-class response system, so it can take the place of uh, eye clickers and other commercial products to significantly reduce the cost of uh, students' education. Uh, and then irrespective of how students interact with the DAPT, um, the uh, submissions and the grades can be passed back to learning management systems uh, via LTI protocols or advanced API if you have available. Now, the traditional way in which we present questions is uh, you have courses, courses have assignments, assignments have starts, dates, end dates, and students access that. However, ADAPT is called ADAPT because it has an alternative way in order to present questions, where instead of a single question, you have uh, an individual, you have a question at the top of a tree. This is a decision tree-based approach where students can come in, and if they fail the question at the top, they get the opportunity in order to go into the tree in order to be able to get remediation. Uh, this is a choose your own adventure story sort of approach where students can actually identify what questions or what branches are necessary in order to master the skills needed in order to be successful at the root of the tree. If they actually go through the tree successfully, they get a do-over, they can come back up in order to be able to evaluate this. This provides an adaptive learning capability. It's a simple adaptive learning capability compared to to a black box algorithm-based approach, but it helps to facilitate metacognition skills. It helps us uh, facilitate self-efficacy, but more importantly, it facilitates engagement with the education. Uh, and anything that advances an engagement between the student and the resources typically uh, increases learning. I just want to mention a few, the more advanced features that we are <laughs> introducing into ADAPT uh, this summer. Uh, one is uh, to complement our uh, actually quite large uh, chemistry corpus of questions, uh, in this case here with organic chemistry. Uh, so you have the ability in order to submit uh, questions with organic um, and evaluate them uh, and do a range of different thing questions connected to that. Um, we will also be releasing uh, our virtual dissection uh, uh, capabilities, uh, which takes three-dimensional models and allows students in order to dissect them uh, effectively, ask questions. For example, you can give them the skull uh, and ask them to identify the mandible uh, or to do jigsaw puzzles or other more uh, three-dimensional, spatially focused uh, questions. Um, 
tie it all together, uh, we have a range of different question types, uh, uh, depending upon auto graded or open ended, they can go into adapt, you can put adapt directly in your textbook, um, or uh, students can access to, uh, adapt directly, uh, and they can pass grades to learning management systems, you can also uh, use adapt as your grade infrastructure. Um, so with that, I thank you for your attention, I encourage you to take a look at the adapt website again at adapt.libertex.org and thank you very much.